Joining us to talk about this is Trump supporter and Republican National Committee woman from Minnesota, Janet Byhoffer. Thank you so much for coming in. I'm glad to be back, Esme. This is wonderful. Thank right. you. Well, thank you. And let me ask you, what about this infighting between Trump aides? Uh, there is a lot of evidence suggesting that Jared Kushner, Mr. Trump's son-in-law, is trying to move Mr. Trump to the center. Steve Bannon, of course, the architect of Mr. Trump's remarkable victory. Mm -hmm. I think when you have someone coming in from the outside, which is what Donald Trump is, he's not a politician. Jared Kushner is not a politician. They are people who do stuff. And they will have differences of opinions. And I think that's what we're seeing. And it is, it's, whether it's not, or not it's getting blown up, I don't know. But I think Trump will get to the bottom of it. He's got to have people around him that he knows, that he's known historically. It's a comfort level. But at some point, President Trump is a doer, and he's going to need people who can get things done. So right now, there may be some juggling but going where on. Do, where do you think? Where do you sit on this? Because, you know, Mr. Bannon has a very different world view yes. in which America should not get involved in these, you know, foreign entanglements. Mr. Kushner appears to be advocating something very different, and right now it looks like Mr. Kushner is winning with this Syrian airstrike. Well, it was interesting. I actually got an email this morning from my peer in Iowa who has a contact in Kosovo. And the net of those emails was people will put up with so much for so long, and particularly Americans. I mean, we had it in Bosnia, it was in Kosovo, it's been in other parts of the world, and finally said, enough is enough. And this is an interesting. I mean, conflict and staff. Do you because support the Syrian airstrike? Do you think I do it? support it because we have come off eight years of leading from behind, and there was a line drawn in the sand. And then when Assad by crossed Obama. it by President Obama, and when he crossed it, nothing was done. And President Trump had a line, and he said, "Look, we're not going to let these kids get gassed to death, and we are going to do something about it. And hopefully, it will have the same results." as what we did years ago in Libya and finally said, cut it out. We don't want to be the world's policeman, but right now, who else do you want? And hopefully Assad will take a second look here and they will start looking at all the conflict within the country and address that. All right, amongst the, the bumpier episodes of the young Trump presidency has been the health care <laughs> yes. situation mm -hmm. and, and President Trump's health care proposal that went down in flames because conservatives were upset with it. Correct. They felt that, in essence, it was another mandate and Obama light. Mm -hmm. What did you think of it? I asked my congressman, Jason Lewis, because he is... And he supported it. He supported it, which surprised me because I was in D.C. twice within the last three or four weeks. And I said, what are we doing with this health care? I'm reading all kinds of conflicting information here. Now, Jason has some very strong libertarian views also. And I thought, if he's going to support this, then I'm, I'll be on board. And one of the things that we talked about was groups that had been in favor of what came out that got defeated and then had decided, no, it wasn't enough. Yeah. But then you've got the other side. The Freedom Caucus said, we weren't consulted. So, but, but there were many aspects of that bill that had key parts of Obamacare in it, like no ban on pre-existing conditions, keeping mm -hmm. young people on until age 26. Yes. I mean, those are some of the hearts of, and a 30% also penalty if you didn't have insurance. I mean, isn't that a mandate? Those are mandates, but I believe there's 12 mandates inside that Obamacare bill. And they were removing two, and the Freedom Caucus said, we want these other, they came up later and said, we've got two more we want mm -hmm. you to remove. By the way it got passed, according to my understanding of how it went through the Senate, because there were no yeah. Republicans who supported it at all, was you can't just flip the whole thing and say, that's it. So there's a discussion going on on which mandates can we get out now as a piece, and then we'll come back okay. and we'll do phases two and three. So whether right. or not that happens is another concern of conservatives. All right, and we'll visit with you on that sometime in the future. Janet Byover, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Okay, thank right. you, Esme. All right.